नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन इन दिस वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द फोरकास्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स एंड व्हाट इज द ऑब्जर्वड वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव अ वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर ओवर वेस्ट सेंट्रल एंड एडजॉइनिंग साउथ बे ऑफ बंगाल दिस लो प्रेशर एरिया इज लाइकली टू बिकम अ साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म बाय 25th ऑफ मे एंड देयर आफ्टर इट इज लाइकली टू फर्दर इंटेंसिफाई इनटू अ सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म बाय 26th ऑफ मे एंड देन मेक इट्स लैंडफॉल ओवर बांग्लादेश एंड एडजॉइनिंग वेस्ट बंगाल कोस्ट बाय 26th मे इवनिंग and then uh, the rainfall activity over south and central india or especially kerala and tamil nadu is likely to decrease gradually from tomorrow onwards and the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over rajasthan gujarat and adjoining parts of west madhya pradesh are likely to continue during next 4 to 5 days and the uh, southwest monsoon is likely to make its onset over kerala by around 20, 31st of may with uh, a probable error of plus minus 4 days so the low pressure area of yesterday has become a well marked low pressure area today morning and this is the likely to become a depression by tomorrow morning and thereafter moving uh, 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 roughly north eastwards it is likely to become a cyclonic storm by 25th may morning and thereafter uh, moving uh, 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 roughly north north eastwards it is likely to become a, a a a severe cyclonic storm by 26th may morning and then it is likely to make its landfall over bangladesh and adjoining west bengal coast as a severe cyclonic storm so uh, this uh, severe cyclonic storm is uh, is uh, 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 as we can see over here that it is currently over west central and adjoining southwest bay of bengal so over this region currently we can uh, 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 the, the winds of the order of uh, uh, of the order of 35 to 45 gusting to 55 uh, km per hour are are prevailing and by tomorrow morning this uh, these uh, winds uh, would 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 become of the order of uh, uh, of the order of 45 to 55 gusting to 65 kmph and uh, uh, and as it becomes a a cyclonic storm by 25th may morning so the uh, associated wind speed over the winds uh, would be of the order of uh, uh, for uh, would be of the order of 70 to 80 kmph gusting to 90 kmph over the east central bay of bengal and adjoining parts of north bay of bengal and thereafter it is uh, likely to continue to move north north eastwards and become a severe cyclonic storm by 26th may morning and once it becomes a severe cyclonic storm so the wind speed over the area of central parts of north bay of bengal would be of the order of 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 kmph so uh, uh, then it it is likely to make its landfall over uh, uh, bangladesh and adjoining west bengal coast uh, and at the time of the landfall the wind speed is uh, likely to be of the order of 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 kmph so uh, likewise the area the the fisherman warning has been uh, generated here by india meteorological department and the areas which we have uh, discussed the east central bay of bengal the west central bay of bengal the uh, uh, north bay of bengal so all these areas are likely to be uh, uh, kept in mind and the fishermen are advised to not to venture into these areas during the mentioned dates and also uh, this is going to impact uh, wind wise as well as rainfall wise uh, gangetic west bengal as well as, well as odisha so uh, over over uh, uh, over the north uh, northwest bay of bengal and along and of uh, uh, bangladesh coast west bengal and adjoining north odisha coast uh, the wind speed of the order of 40 to 50 kmph gusting to 60 kmph may be experienced from 25th of may and the wind speed of uh, 40 to 50 kmph gusting to 60 kmph is likely to continue over andaman islands and uh, north andaman sea during next uh, 48 hours so uh, this one it, it tells us about the the uh, the uh, cyclogenesis pro uh, probability uh, for uh, next two weeks so uh, uh, after this cyclone makes it uh, its landfall over the bangladesh coast so we do not have any uh, probability of formation of any depression or low pressure area during next two weeks 
over the entire uh, north indian portion area so now if we uh, now we come over to our uh, second uh, topic of the today's discussion so, so that is for the rainfall for uh, next two weeks so as this uh, cyclone uh, this this uh, wellmark low pressure area intensifies further so it would uh, uh, kind of uh, drag all the moisture laden winds into the system so the rainfall activity over kerala and tamil nadu would uh, substantially decrease from tomorrow uh, although today there is a uh, rain, uh, there is warning for extremely heavy rainfall over kerala and heavy to very heavy rainfall over tamil nadu but tomorrow this is going to decrease to just heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, kerala and heavy rainfall over tamil nadu and uh, uh, on 25th of may as we can see that uh, over tamil nadu uh, there is no rainfall warning and over kerala there is heavy rainfall warning just for one or two places and then on 25th of may we are expecting isolated heavy rainfall activity over gangetic west bengal or odisha as well as over north coastal andhra pradesh and on 26th and 27th of may we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall on 26th may over gangetic west bengal and odisha and on uh, on uh, on 27th of may we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall over gangetic west bengal north odisha as well as uh 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 mizoram tripura and manipur as well as south assam also so uh, uh this is this was the rainfall forecast for uh, next uh, uh, next uh, uh, five days and uh, and uh, and then if we talk about the then if we talk about the rainfall observed during past one week during past one week so we can uh, we can see that uh, the, the main system was the cyclonic circulation over gulf of mannar or comorin area and we had another cyclonic circulation over uh, south east arabian sea of kerala coast and uh, there was a shear zone and middle tropospheric levels over over this area and due to this shear zone uh, intense rainfall activity occurred over this region and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall occurred over kerala as well as tamil nadu during uh, past uh, a uh, four to five days as we can see here that these uh, uh, yellow and orange dots are showing the yellow dots are showing uh, heavy rainfall and orange dots are showing heavy to very heavy rainfall and this also this heavy rainfall activity also extended into the coastal karnataka and the south interior karnataka as well so as a result of this rainfall activity during this past uh, uh, week which has passed over so the rainfall total rainfall which occurred uh, uh over over uh, south peninsular india was uh, uh, about 225% above normal and uh, over over central india due to the thunderstorm activity and hail storm activity the rainfall occurred was about 50% above normal uh, although the rainfall activity due to absence of uh, south westerly winds over the east and north uh, east india and due to absence of any active western disturbance the rainfall activity Uh, over east and northeast uh, no, uh, northeast india was uh, uh, about 50% below normal and it was about uh, 80% below normal over northwest india and uh, for season as a whole the uh, uh, country as a whole uh, for in the entire season uh, beginning from 1st of march uh, the entire country experienced uh, uh, close to normal rainfall activity although it was 8% below normal and the south peninsular india and central india experienced uh, uh, 11% and 80% above normal rainfall activity respectively and the central india rainfall is due to the intense uh, thunderstorm and hailstorm activity over the over the region uh, although east and northeast india and northwest india experienced uh, below normal rainfall activity due to absence of any active western disturbance over northwest india and due to uh, uh, absence of uh, absence of uh, 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 the storm activity and due to uh, due to occurrence of uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions in the month of april over east india uh, the the below normal rainfall activity was experienced over east and northeast india so uh, now if we if we talk about uh, this uh, a uh, heat wave scenario so the the heat wave uh, for the heat wave scenario if you talk about so uh, so the uh, the heat wave activity uh, the heat wave uh, uh, this this graph shows that how many heat wave days have occurred over the country uh, during past week so 
फाइव टू सिक्स नंबर ऑफ डेज ऑफ हीट वेव हैज अकर्ड ओवर पंजाब हरियाणा वेस्ट यूपी एंड राजस्थान एंड वेस्ट एमपी एंड सेवन हीट वेव डेज हैज अकर्ड ओवर गुजरात ड्यूरिंग द वीक सिक्सटीन टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ मे एंड थ्री टू फोर डेज ऑफ हीट वेव हैज बीन एक्सपीरियंसड ओवर ईस्ट यूपी बिहार एंड ईस्ट एमपी एंड वन हीट वेव डे हैज बीन एक्सपीरियंसड ओवर ओवर मध्य महाराष्ट्र so uh, uh, so uh, if we talk about the heat wave scenario for next two weeks so as we can see over here that the uh, temperature are although likely to remain during first week uh, 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 above above uh, uh, above uh, uh, normal over over northwest india and and uh, so heat wave activity if we talk about uh, next uh, uh, next five days so heat wave uh, Uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over Gujarat and Rajasthan are likely to continue uh, to uh, likely to continue to be experienced during uh, next uh, uh, next five days uh, with with the uh, uh, with the uh, decrease in intensity of heat wave over Gujarat from 26th of May uh, uh, and and uh, also also the heat wave activity which was uh, prevailing over. over west up and haryana and punjab has significantly reduced during past 2 uh, to 3 days and uh, uh, today the heat wave condition has only been reported at one station each of punjab and haryana uh, that is over bhatinda and sirsa only and also only one station of uh, uh, west up that is urai has reported the heat wave condition so uh, due to prevailing easterly winds and the lower tropospheric levels the heat wave conditions over west up over haryana and punjab has almost abated uh, uh, but at the same time due to the prevailing westerly winds uh, over uh, over rajasthan and adjoining west mp area and over gujarat the heat wave has is is continuously intensifying further uh, uh, yesterday the uh, station badmer of rajasthan had reported 48 degree centigrade of maximum temperature uh, which was the season's highest max maximum temperature and uh, this uh, maximum temperature has uh, again it uh, has been broken today and today the badmer station has reported 48.8 degree centigrade which has now become the uh, latest uh, 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 season uh, record highest temperature so uh, uh, that was all about so if we if we discuss about this heat wave activity so uh, this this was the scenario for next one week and if we uh, if we talk about uh, the upcoming the upcoming week so in the upcoming week although the uh, heat wave activity over uh, northwest india is likely to slightly decrease but it may also uh, emerge over the parts of east india over parts of north odisha adjoining parts of gangetic west bengal and adjoining parts of jharkhand the heat wave activity may re emerge uh, during the uh, week 2 that is the week from 30th of may to 5th of june so uh, that was about the uh, about the heat wave activity and if we we'll discuss about the rainfall activity for the for the next uh, Uh, next two weeks so, so uh, for uh, week 1 we have discussed uh, that the heavy rainfall activity over south and sunur india would decrease from tomorrow and the rainfall activity is going to be uh, focused upon east and northeast india due to the uh, probable uh, cyclonic storm formation so uh, in the in the week uh, in the in the week 2 the rainfall activity is uh, likely to be likely to be above normal over east and northeast india and it is uh, likely to be near normal over central and south peninsular india and it is likely to be below normal over northwest india due to uh, due to any uh, due to absence of any active western disturbance so as we have been seeing that uh, during past one week there was no active western disturbance coming over northwest india so same is going to be uh, the scenario for next two weeks as well uh, that there is no probability of any active western disturbance over northwest india and that will cause the rainfall activity over uh, northwest india especially the western himalayan region to be below normal in week 2 as uh, we can uh, see over here so now we come over to the southwest monsoon scenario so southwest monsoon is likely to uh, uh, if we see its current uh, status so it has uh, uh, 
uh, it has uh, uh, today it has covered uh, some more parts of south of bay of bengal and it has covered uh, almost uh, 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 most parts of most most parts of andaman and nicobar islands and it has also covered most parts of uh, of uh, uh, north andaman sea and now uh, during uh, during next uh, two days it will uh, cover the southwest monsoon will cover uh, almost entire uh, entire andaman sea and it will enter into with the with the uh, movement of this uh, low pressure system it will enter into the east central bay of bengal so some parts of east central bay of bengal will be covered by southwest monsoon during next uh, uh, two to three days and uh, thereafter also it will it will further as the uh, this system moves uh, north uh, uh, northward uh, the southwest monsoon will further cover the parts of east central bay of bengal and and uh, and also some parts of uh, north east bay of bengal and also some more parts of south bay of bengal and and the monsoon monsoon uh, and during subsequent uh, three to four days the monsoon may also cover uh, northeast india with the with the uh, landfall of this uh, cyclone over bangladesh and adjoining west bengal coast and thereafter the the uh, southwest monsoon also is likely to make its onset over kerala by around 31st of may with a, a probable error of uh, plus minus 4 days so that's all for this week uh, next week we will again meet with the weekly weather discussion for upcoming two weeks uh, thank you and goodbye